Hey guys, uh, my name is Ray Chambers and I'm going to be showing you a basic tutorial that you can do today uh, with your Raspberry Pi and with Scratch just to get you uh, to started with coding and how you can make a simple traffic light using some LEDs which you can get pretty cheap online. Um, so watch this video and find out how to make a traffic light system. So what we're aiming for is uh, I've got my Raspberry Pi through the TV here and when I press this green button, it sets it up, and if I press the space bar on my keyboard, I've got the red light, then the yellow light, then the green light, and that's pretty easy to do. Uh, and the first thing that I'm going to show you in the next uh, minute or two is actually how to set up the Raspberry Pi and how to set up the hardware before we do that. So watch this space. So here is our Raspberry Pi, and the first thing that you're going to need to do to to it is if we go along three pins that is the ground pin so particularly when you're doing electronics you need to do that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat this across a breadboard so that all of my LEDs can share that so I'm just going to plug that in and now each LED can share the signal across this breadboard so each of these lights will have your actual signal and you'll also have your ground. Now the ground is the shorter end. Now what I've done is using some jumper jerky cable, I've used some female to male cable and I've hooked those LEDs up and the smaller section goes into the ground of that board. So what we're going to do now is connect them up to each of the pins so that we will need. So what you can see here is I've plugged in pins 17, 18 and 15. I will put a diagram at the end of this video. And then I have my three connectors. Now each of these connectors will need a resistor to control the flow of electricity to these LEDs. So what I'm going to do is put a resistor in each of these and then I'm going to connect it up to the other end of the LEDs. So what you're seeing here is I've connected all of the pins up. I put resistors in and they are to female to female and they have connected up to the remaining lights. Now what I'm going to show you quickly is what you can do on the computer to set up the GPIO, which are these pins, and I'm going to show you how you can get Scratch going. So if you're using a Raspberry Pi, the first thing you're going to need to do is go to Edit in Scratch and start the GPIO server. Now, the program is pretty basic. What you do is you go down to the control section and you find the broadcasts. Now, you drag over your broadcast and then you set it up to output to whichever pin that you want to do. So you can create a new and name that to the pin out. So you can see here, I've done pin 17, 15, and 18. Now, all you do is when you press the space bar, you broadcast that you want the pin on. Wait one second, pin off. Wait one second, pin on. So you are just controlling the power that goes to each pin and when you run that, all I need to do is press the space. So I'm coming over to the Raspberry Pi, pressing the space bar, and that is your basic code. So a nice little project there to get you started. This kit, I will put the link to it, is about 11 pounds on Amazon. Uh, you do get some cables with it. I ordered these from Pi Maroni. I'll put the link uh, below. Uh, but this kit comes with all the resistors, enough LEDs so you could even uh, get another project going. I'm going to be doing a lightsaber soon. Um, there's also plenty of resistors for you to do plenty of other so things. So I hope that was a pretty useful project for you to kind of get to grips with, uh, something basic to begin with. Uh, there are other projects you can do with motors and so on.
But yeah, um, give it a go. The links are below for you to get hold of some of the equipment to do that. And uh, stay tuned for another project. Mm -hmm.